Hey, I'm glad to see you back. Today, we are going to be using PHP to put text into the price of a WooCommerce product. So this is pretty useful code that you can put excluding VAT or including VAT right inside the price of a product. You can also specify if the cost of a product is per month, per week. The key here is that text is built into the price of the product so that's easily seen for the client that's viewing the product on the site. Now you can put these things elsewhere like maybe in the title or in the description but I found that inside the price is the best place to put these sort of things so that the client can see it easily. So without further ado, let's get started. So here in the back end we're going to insert the PHP code into the themes functions file. If you're like me, I prefer actually using my own custom plugin to put in this sort of code. But in the examples I'm showing, not everyone likes doing their own custom plugin, so I do the theme functions file. If you do prefer it in your own plugin, go ahead and put it in that. So let's head over to Appearance and Theme File Editor. If you're doing it from the plugin, you can do it from Plugin and then go to Plugin Editor. I do love the fact that WordPress has their own little editors that you can quickly add in code. So here in the Theme Editor, the first thing we're going to do is head over to the Theme Functions file. If you don't see theme functions, then the file you're looking for is functions.php. It's the same thing. Over here, it's called theme function. In the file, we go right to the bottom. We find a space just before the end of the file, and this is where we're going to put in our code. The first thing we're going to put into here is actually a note to say what this function does. It's very good to have, so later when you come back, you know what you did there without having to sit and decipher the code, especially if it's a very long function. So note that I'm using for this function is add text to the price of my WooCommerce product. Okay, so now we're going to start with the function where we put the text to the price of the product. First, we have to give our function a name. The function name that I'm using is Miguel add text to product. And it's got open and close brackets and then the open and close brace. So the brace is to house all the code that we're going to be using within this function. Do take note when you're actually making your function name that you do not put spaces. If you're going to add a space, use something like an underscore or a dash. Way better. Do not use spaces. Spaces aren't allowed in names. Now, before we actually put the code in, Within these brackets, we have to bring the price in of the product that's being called. And to do that, we're going to house it in its own variable. And over here in this example, we're just going to call it price. So we say dollar price. The dollar before the word is just to say that this is a variable in PHP. Now, before we add any text to this price, we have to make sure that there is actually a price being called. And to do that, we have to say if the price variable is not empty, then put the text to the price. So let's do that now. So we say if when we open up a bracket to say what the expression is, we say the price variable is not equal to nothing, close the bracket, and then we put in code within this brace. The not equal sign in PHP is exclamation and equals. Then PHP knows that whatever's inside the variable cannot equal to whatever's inside the quotes. Now that we're happy that the price is not empty, the next two lines of code are going to be the code to insert the text to the price. Now what we're saying inside this if statement is the price must be equal to the price and includes tax. To write that out is dollar price is dot equals, which means add to the variable. Then adding the text to the price is what's ever inside the single quotation marks. Do include a space before whatever you write so that it actually is separated from the price of the product. And in this case, what we're saying is includes tax. After we say that, we have to return the price back to the product. So we say return price. Now we make sure that the braces are there and that this function is closed and as, as well as the if statement. So to trigger this function, we have to add a filter to WooCommerce to let it know that we want to change the price of every product that goes through the system. So the filter we're using is WooCommerce get price HTML. I found that this is the easiest one just to quickly edit and add without actually influencing anything else negatively. So let's write out that filter quickly. So we're saying is add filter, we open up the bracket and then inside single quotation marks, we say WooCommerce get price HTML close off the quotation marks, then we put a comma, and then we call our function whatever we named it. In my case, it was Miguel, add text to product, which is there, and you can see it there. Something else that we'd like to actually trigger is maybe the cart. Maybe we want to include the text inside the price of the cart. So let's just add another quick filter just to do that while we're here. So the best filter I've found to do this is WooCommerce cart item price. So let's add that filter now quickly. So there we go. So it's add filter inside the brackets and single quotation marks is WooCommerce cart item price, and then we trigger our function here as well. And there we go, there's the function. Now we just say update file. So if we head over to our store quickly, you will see includes tax on all the prices that are in the products, as well as in the single product page. So there you go, you can see includes tax. So now if we add it as well to the basket or cart, and we look inside there, you can see includes tax there as well. And there you go, I hope you liked it. There was a nice quick little snippet to show you. 
If you're looking for something, please let me know in the comments below. I am starting to get some requests and I'm busy with those videos. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.